Hey everybody! So this week is our celebrate and review week for the story and we've been doing this for 31 weeks now so this is a really really long um, curriculum that we're going to be reviewing all of it which is a pretty tall task um, but it's actually gonna be a lot of fun and I think the kids are gonna really um, enjoy it um, this is kind of like uh, celebrate kind of party remembering what we've been talking about so um, in the beginning we started with a campfire and talking about stories and how you tell stories around the campfire and that the Bible is actually a story and we went from beginning to end so we're gonna bring our campfire back out and um, go back to our storytelling so what we're going to do in the beginning is we're going to start with um, an activity called, uh, well, just story stones. And on each stone there are pictures um, like rain or um, sun. Uh, this one has a tree. So it'll all be kind of camping. So one might have a fire, a tent, a s'more, um, you know, something like that. And so uh, you'll start the story and let the kids um, as you go around in a circle whoever wants to participate um, can pull out a stone and they can say like for example I started once upon a time um, Emily and Joshua went camping and they'll pull out tree and they might say and they climbed a tree or they came across a really big tall tree whatever their imagination um, wherever it takes them so we can see what kind of really cool camping story we come up with with our um, camping story stones. And um, I'm gonna try to bring back the tent and some camping uh, decorations so that we have back to our camping story uh, time. And then, okay, so that was a really long introduction. So we're gonna do some story stones and then we actually have a review video that reviews the story from beginning to end it's about 10 minutes a little bit long it's actually used for it is the story curriculum used for the teenagers but it's pretty um, easy to understand and simple goes straight from beginning to end it's really interesting it's like drawings that kind of move around anyway it's really cool um, and then afterwards we'll have a, a little application about how we are actually continuing the story the story didn't end and so um, it's kind of cool how we are actually, we are the church and we are the story and we're part of it. And um, I made this really big life-size matching game. So we have all the stories. This one oops, happens to be Daniel. And so we have a giant game of matching with the stories. And there are 32 of these things. So we can split them into teams and um, put all of these down and uh, play a really big game of memory um, with our review cards. Um, and then at the end, this is the part I'm getting to, um, we are going to make our own story stones. Since we are all part of the story, we are each unique, so everyone gets to make their own unique story stone. And they can, they can just put designs on it, they can do a picture of themselves if they want, though that might be kind of hard on here. Um, they could use something like, for example, um, my favorite flower is a tulip. So I could put a tulip on here, or maybe it's soccer or basketball or um, whatever their favorite thing is. Um, they can put it on their story zone and take it home with them just to remind them of the story and that they are part of it and, um, so we're going to be using these paint um, Sharpies, and there are quite a few. Um, they may not have every color that they want because it's gonna be broken up into different tables, but they'll just have to deal with that. Um, so you might have a blue basketball, but that's okay. Um, so it works just like a pen or a marker, but they're gonna have to let it dry for sure. Um, so as long as they don't touch it for a couple minutes, um, it dries pretty quickly. So they just color it in like they would normally and make sure that they put the cap on and that they don't touch 
their clothing because that would not be good. So especially for the kindergarten and first graders, um, you can help them with this because it might be a little bit difficult. Um, so this would be my story stone and I just drew a little um, tulip on my rock and um, that's pretty much all there is to it really super simple it's not going to take a lot of time because honestly probably won't have a whole lot of time um, if you do end up having a lot of time left over I printed out these crazy stories it's called let's go camping and you can just fill in the blanks and the kids can make up a story about camping um, but you can also do uh, prayer groups and there are lots of things you can do if you have extra time but um, that is all I have for you this week and looking forward to a great weekend.